Lots of news about CBC while I was away, including calls from their allies to ensure that they get even more of your money. You know, a billion dollars doesn't go as far as it used to. Oh, it reminds me of that senator that wondered out loud how anyone could live on just $5,800 a month. Hmm, I mean, wow. Anyway, the worst news from CBC happened the day I was leaving for a vacation where I was to be reintroduced to my family. My wife had a rule, though. She said no phone calls, no emails about work. This little thing here, yeah, it would be turned off while we were in Florida. We went to Disney, and I'll fill you in on that another time. On the drive from Ottawa to the Canada-U.S. border, though, I started getting emails from a few of you and friends of mine in the military. You were all upset that CBC decided to release a story they'd been sitting on for weeks, a story that smeared our troops. It was a trumped-up story, really, a video that played at a mess dinner back in 2010 that mocked Osama bin Laden and supposedly his brother. CBC decided this was inappropriate and racist. And so just days before Remembrance Day, they released this story. Now, the timing was not a mistake. It was done on purpose, just like they always have a story a few days or a week before Easter or Christmas to attack Christians and their faith. It never happens before any other religious holiday, but it happens before those two. And again, the timing is never a mistake, nor was it a mistake here. CBC admitted in the story they published that they'd had this info for weeks. I spoke quickly to a couple of friends in different bases to see what the reaction was at their home turf. They weren't happy. But you have to remember, these people are in uniform. They can't speak out. They can't defend themselves. They rely on the rest of us to do that. I was so angry that I just about turned the car around and came back to rant about it on the show. But Disney was calling, and that wouldn't have been fair to four children who wanted to see the Magic Kingdom for the first time. So let me say to CBC what I wanted to say more than a week ago. You make me sick. This isn't the first time they smeared the troops, and it won't be the last. And you and I will continue to pay for this cultural institution to tear down every part of Canada that their left-wing brains cannot appreciate, like the military. While I was away, CBC also announced that they were up for an award for transparency. They made sure that they crowed about that, and considering that they used to get an F and led the way in complaints to the Inf Information Commissioner, well, there's definitely some room for improvement. It might be award-worthy, I don't know. So now they're finalists. They haven't won the award. They've made it sound like they have. They're finalists for the 2012 Institute of Public Administration of Canada Deloitte Public Sector Leadership Awards. Now, just a quick comment before I laugh a bit more. They don't like being called the state broadcaster, but this award is only open to government bodies. So, yeah, CBC, you are the state broadcaster. It's true you don't parrot the lines of this conservative government, but that isn't what state broadcaster means. It means the one owned and run by the state. Anyway, despite the fact that CBC will now claim they meet deadlines for responding to access requests, that their complaints have fallen way off, I'll tell you why this is a joke. They still release blank pages. You remember the one that I told you about between CBC and Microsoft. We've shown you this before. We asked for a commercial contract. The type any government department has to provide, say, if you were buying F-35 fighter jets. Well, if you did that, you'd likely have seen more information released than CBC did when we asked for information on their contract with Microsoft. Then there's one that you're about to find out about. CBC was asked about inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Between January 2010 and this past summer, the state broadcaster generated 798 pages about inappropriate actions in the workplace. What did we get? Blank pages. We don't know if this is mildly inappropriate stuff or really bad stuff, but we do know there was a lot of it because one of the emails between various HR people sees, well, they just mix up the cases. Here's what they said. Too many cases. I'm getting them mixed up in my mind. Now, this could be a cover-up of something really bad going on at CBC. We don't know. CBC sends out blank pages. I get omitting names to protect the innocent, but that doesn't mean you, you cover up everything. How much are we paying in lawyers' fees and settlement fees? We don't know. CBC won't tell us. And then they say, hey, look at us. We're up for an award for transparency? You've got to be kidding the CBC supporters, they don't care what reality is. They just want CBC to keep on keeping on. Last week, Sun News caught wind that the NDP was pushing once again for a reversal of spending cuts at the state broadcaster, and they want stable funding. I mean, think about it. They have to deal with their loss of NHL revenue. 
Thankfully, PM Harper, Stephen Harper, said no more dough for the state broadcaster. CBC has its funding voted annually by Parliament. It does not depend on its revenue or things like the NHL strike. That is the amount uh, we are giving it for the year. Now, not giving them more money is a good thing, Prime Minister Harper, but what needs to happen is the CBC needs to get off the public dole completely. We need to sell the thing off. That's the argument I'm making in my book, CBC Exposed. I know that a copy has been given to Prime Minister Harper. I know several MPs have their own copies. In the book, I lay out past abuse of CBC, things that they did using your money that will simply make you angry. I have to ask you, though, have you bought your copy yet? If you have Kindle, you can download it and read it tonight. If you want a hard copy, you can find the details online at the blog. You need to buy this book. You need to read this book, and you need to lobby your MP to get on side. In the book, I give you the stories and the steps to follow. It's all here in CBC Exposed. Now, you can only get this book online right now because it is the book that Canada's cultural elites don't want you to read. Chapters in Indigo, they won't even return calls from the publisher about this book, even though they carry other books by the same publisher. And The Globe, their media reporter interviewed me about the book. He filed a story on it. The Globe won't run it. The left wants to keep you in the dark. You want a conservative media? You want conservative books? Then I ask you to support the cause. Buy this book. Buy two. Buy one for you and one as a Christmas book. You can find all the details right now. Details at lilyspad.ca. Stick around. More to come.